I will take this on. I think that the, that the latest rendition of where we are now that has in fact tied the hands or made, made um, Democrats feel that their hands were tied uh, on national security, on, um, on the, the, uh, the war in Iraq, on uh, the war against our constitution, a whole number of, 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 of different issues has been the term support the troops. Um, where, the, where if you think in terms of networks, you're looking at two networks that have nothing to do with each other, that have been magnificently elided into one. One is supporting our men and women in uniform. Uh, all of us support our men and women in u uniform, and I can tell you, I'm a, I, I guess you've big figured out I'm a Democrat, um, but, but um, you know, um, I take the same moment of silence as my Republican friends take when we're at a setting and someone says, let's have a moment of silence for our troops. I feel the same emotions, the same, you know, towards, towards patriotism and towards people who fight for our country as anyone on the right does. But that's one network. The other network is support their deployment to Iraq. Now those are completely different things and where the Democrats have gotten held up is their fear that they, because they've accepted this idea, support the troops, meaning both, that they can't get out of it. And there is a way to answer that, and it might, it might be something like this. There are many, but here would be an example. Mr. President, if you want to really know what it means to support our troops, don't make their families take up a collection for their body armor. You want to know what it means to support our troops, armor their Humvees so they don't lose their lives and their limbs when they don't need to. Do you want to know what it means to support our troops when they come back injured to this country? Don't you dare warehouse them uh, in Walter Reed Hospital with cockroaches. You really want to know what it means to support our troops? Don't send them into somebody else's civil war. You want to know what it means to support our troops? Don't send them to a war unless you would send your own children to that war. Do you, do you want to know, want to know what it would mean, means to support our troops? When they come back to the shores, to shores they will never see again, don't whisk their bodies uh, uh, onto our mainland in the middle of the night as if you're ashamed of them. Do what every president in the history of this great country has ever done and proudly display their flag draped coffins because they are heroes and not because you're ashamed of them. And if you, and if you really want to support our troops, Mr. President, bring them home. Sir. Well, before I ask my question, I'm, I'm going to say, uh, what office would you like to run for? <laughs> <laughs>